Welcome to this 12 minute chair yoga video. We're going to begin by moving the spine with seated cat and cow breathing. So preparing in a comfortable seated position, you're going to inhale to expand the chest as you round forward and exhale as you close everything in. Find the flow of your own breath and take these cat and cow breaths making sure that you can move your spine all the way from the tailbone to the top of your neck. So trying to warm everything up. Each inhalation lengthens the spine and each exhalation rounding everything forward. Going with the flow of your own breath and then we prepare to take the spine into yet another movement. We're going to do seated spinal twists first to the left and then to the right. So preparing, you're going to bring your right hand onto your left knee and then you're going to inhale to lengthen your spine and exhale, twist using the strength of your core. So making sure that you're not pulling in this twist. Each inhale lengthens the spine, each exhale is a gentle twist. Breathing with the flow of your own breath and trying to create length through the spine as you breathe. Coming back to the centre, we're going to bring the left hand onto the right knee, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. So keep breathing with a nice long spine, nice and tall, remembering that you're not pulling yourself into this twisting position, but rather using the strength of your core to allow your body to twist. Try to remain long in the spine with each inhalation and exhalation. Coming back to the center in preparation for the lateral stretch, which is the final of our three spinal stretches. So in this position, you're going to gently hold the left side of your chair with your left hand and then inhale the right arm up, lengthen the spine and then reach the arm over. As you do this, you want to make sure that your right sitting bone remains pressing into the chair. Each inhalation lengthens the spine, each exhalation allows you to reach a little deeper. Only going as far as is comfortable for your specific body. Listen to your body as you practice. Coming back to the center in preparation for changing sides, you're going to hold the right side of the chair with the right hand. Inhale the left arm up and exhale, reaching over keeping that left sitting bone pressing into the chair as you're gently reaching away with that upper arm, keeping length through the spine and finding the flow of your own breath as you do this. Inhaling and coming back to the center. So we're going to come to a standing position and use the chair for support as we begin to warm up the legs with a little hamstring warm up. So standing, turning to face the chair. Now you can rest your hands either on the top part of the chair or on the seat of the chair, whichever is more comfortable for you. And you're gently going to bend and straighten the legs. Straighten just as much as is comfortable for you. If you have knee problems, then this might feel a little difficult. So just make some very gentle movements and hold the top part of the chair if this is difficult for you. Listen to your body as you practice. From here, you're going to rest forward onto the chair and the next position is going to be a gentle hamstring stretch. So we're going to stretch left and then right. The goal will be to straighten the leg if possible, but don't despair if the leg doesn't straighten. So starting with the right leg, you're going to bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, and then swapping to bending the left knee and straightening the left leg. And you're just going to alternate from one side to the other. You want to feel this through the backs of the legs, but do this gently. This is a gentle practice where you're feeling into your own body. Do it with grace and with compassion. Then gently taking yourself up and preparing for the most strenuous of our leg workouts. And this is going to be little chair squats. So you're going to turn face away from the chair and you're going to gently sit down and stand up for this. Now make sure that your feet are stacked below your knees and in line with your hips. And then you're going to sit on the chair. You can reach your arms forward as you do this. Just gently touch down and lean the body forward, pressing through the midfoot to take you to a standing position. 
go as slowly as feels comfortable for you, but maintain the focus of pressing through the middle of your foot in order to get you up. Your legs are doing the work here rather than using momentum. So gently touching down and gently standing up and remember that you have to keep breathing as you do this. Don't lose control of your breath. From here, we're going to prepare to come to our next position, which is a seated lunge. In this, we will be using the chair as support and we will be taking a gentle lunge. And if the gentle lunge feels okay, we can try a slightly deeper variation. So begin by taking yourself to sit sideways on your chair so that your right butt cheek is resting on the chair and there's space for your left leg to stretch out behind you. Place your hand on your waist, stay nice and tall in your spine and see how you feel here. If this feels okay, you can reach your arms up above you, bringing them straight up. If it doesn't feel okay, stay in that first position. Each inhalation here, you're going to lengthen the spine. And if it feels okay, you can go for a little back bend where you reach the hands slightly behind you. But make sure that you keep your shoulders in line over your hips. We're going to move now, still on this left side, into some seated warriors. So we'll commence with the reverse warrior. Bring your right hand onto your right leg and inhale the left arm up and over. You're going to then extend, so put the back foot flat and bring the arms out so that you're in a warrior position. You can turn your gaze over your front fingers. Your arms should be in one nice, long, straight line. The hips are quite open in this position. It's okay for that back leg not to be all the way out to the side. Do what is comfortable for you. And you can just sit with your legs a little bit wide for a moment, just to take this little brief moment for a gentle stretch between the legs before we begin to take these positions on the opposite side. So turning now to face in the opposite direction, you can actually sit squarely first and then bring this time the right leg back behind you. So there should be space for that right leg to come out. Place the hand on the waist, make sure you're nice and open through the hip. And then if you feel comfortable here, you can inhale and bring both arms up straight above you. Now in this, you're breathing to lengthen the spine. Each exhalation, you allow yourself to maintain the length that you've created. If you feel comfortable and you want to go for a deeper variation, you can take a little back bend here. Keep breathing. And then bringing the hands down, we're going to move into the warrior sequence once more, starting with a reverse warrior. So you can take that left hand, bring it onto the back of the left leg and inhale the right arm up and over. And if you feel comfortable here, if everything is okay, then you're going to open up into your warrior two. So allow the hips to open a little, flatten the back foot on the ground and reach the arms out. The arms remain nice and level from fingertip to fingertip, gazing over those front fingertips. This is a very open position for the hips. If it feels a little bit too much, it's okay to have the legs a little bit more closed. Then coming back to sit centrally on your chair, we're going to prepare for our next position, which is where we start to move into the warming up of the upper body. We're going to do some shoulder warm ups. But this is also a breathing exercise. So you inhale the arms up, gaze towards the thumbs, exhale, cross the hands over the front of the body. Find the flow of your own breath. Make big circles, reaching away with the fingers as you do this. Try as much as you can to find your breath, to find your own flow and really feel the openness through the body as you do this. And then we prepare for some gentle core exercises. Once again, we're going to be twisting using the core, but this time not holding on to anything. So coming to a seated position, take the knees together, bring your hands so that they gently touch the side of your temples and then twist your body towards the left side. 
Now keep a nice long spine as you do this and feel a little engagement in the core as you do this. This is a very gentle general core exercise. Coming back to the center, you're going to twist again to the opposite side. So very gentle core work. Don't lose your focus. Remember, you're not pushing or pulling in this position, only going as far as your body allows. Coming back to the center and we prepare for a gentle seated hamstring stretch. So for this seated stretch, it's a little gentler than the standing stretch. You're going to start by bringing your right leg out and flex the right foot. Bring your hands on your hips and gently pivot from the waist. So you want to keep the spine neutral and long as you do this with the foot flexed. Now you can keep a little bend in your knee if it's not possible for you to straighten the leg. You're going to then swap to the other side so the left leg comes forward, lengthen the spine before you pivot from the waist. It's okay if the leg doesn't completely straighten, but try to take it as straight as you comfortably can, keeping a neutral spine nice and long as you do this, maintaining your breathing. We're then going to come to a gentle shoulder stretch. So this we can do using a blanket under the knees on the floor. But if you have a problem with your knees, you also have the option of doing this against the wall and placing your forearms resting on the wall. Just pay attention to your joints, whichever option you choose. You shouldn't feel discomfort in your knees or your shoulders as you do this practice. So if you're doing the uh, kneeling version, you're going to rest your elbows on the chair. If you're doing the seated version, you're going to rest your forearms against the wall. And it's up to you how deep this goes. This is a shoulder stretch, but you can see that it's quite a shallow shoulder stretch if you don't hang into the joints. So pay attention to your shoulders. We're going to release the shoulders now after that stretch with a little bit of rolling and then a gentle cross body stretch. So coming back to your comfortable seated position, you're going to start with some shoulder rolls. So lifting the shoulders and rolling them backwards. Then you're going to cross the left arm across the right side and you can bend your right elbow and just help that little stretch. This time we take the right arm across, bending the left elbow and gently increasing the stretch with a little pressure, not too much. We're going to now release the wrists Give everything a little shake out before we finish. So from your comfortable seated position, you're going to flick water towards me. So imagine you have water on your hands. Give some little wrist rolls and then shake the hands out. And that is the end of our gentle practice. <laughs>